Good evening, welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm with uh, Martijn again and we are trying to catch some geminids before the moon does on this cold winter evening. <laughs> Alright, so our uh, star trackers are set up, the cameras are running, so uh, let, uh, I'll take some time to explain to you what our plans are for tonight. So as I said earlier, uh, we are trying to photograph the Geminids meteor shower. It's now December 12th, so it's one or two days uh, before the peak. But yeah, as you can see it is crystal clear, so uh, we are taking our chances. Um, yeah, technically uh, we uh, just shot our, yeah, a sort of base sky exposures uh, stack. Uh, I think we shot at about 16 ISO 1600, about 2 minutes f4, so that we have a good clean uh, sky stack as a base. And at the moment my tracker is uh, shooting 20 second shots at ISO 5000 I think, at f2.8. And the idea behind it is uh, that if any meteor is uh, striking through your frame, uh, you catch a lot more light of course uh, if you are working with a higher ISO as I am now. So uh, yeah, let's hope that happens. <laughs> We have a couple of challenges tonight. Uh, the first, of course, is the is the temperatures. Um, yeah, winter has finally come. Uh, temperatures can uh, drop below uh, 10 degrees Celsius, uh, minus 10 degrees Celsius, I have to say. That's also why I'm wearing gloves, a hat, and I'm wearing about 50 layers. And the other thing, um, astro darkness will set in at about uh, 18.30 and the moon is rising at about uh, 8 o'clock. So we only have about one and a half hours of astro darkness. Um, so yeah, after the moon is rising, which is unfortunately just below Gemini, the radiant point of the meteor shower, we will probably have to change our exposures a bit. But uh, yeah, if the meteors are bright enough, I think uh, we can uh, use those exposures still to uh, uh, mask in the meteors which you catch. Okay, so I'm just walking back uh, from making some B-roll. Watch out a little because I'm walking on the road. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, it uh, hasn't been that successful yet, meteor-wise. We have seen a couple of small ones. We're not looking into the sky the whole time, of course, but yeah, fortunately we have uh, some Milky Way shots as a backup. So uh, I'm now going uh, to our foreground. It's called the House of Nothing. It's a house without windows. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can uh, make that foreground work for the Milky Way above it. And we'll end up perhaps without any Geminids, but we'll, we'll have a beautiful Milky Way above it. While light painting the house, I wondered if I'd captured any meteors. It turned out I only caught three in the course of a few hours. However, I'm still happy with how the picture turned out. We definitely didn't come out for nothing. Little did I know then what would happen two nights later. Good evening, it's now uh, night number two of the Geminids. Um, after my uh, yeah, kind of filled Geminid shoots with uh, Martijn, um, I am now out with uh, Corné Auerhand. And uh, it's, now, uh, <laughs> it's now December 14th, so uh, this should be the night of the peak. It is crystal clear again, minus eight degrees, so we're freezing our butts off again. But uh, yeah, the cameras have been running for about half an hour and we've seen about five, six uh, Geminids already. So uh, it's better than last shoot. So yeah, perhaps we will get some and yes, we did. Okay, a quick 
quick update uh, from the night. I haven't vlogged that much because uh, yeah, the night began a bit uh, tricky. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> We've uh, been busy now for about three hours, I think. Uh, the moon is now uh, rising just behind there. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, I think we will have uh, yeah, about one more hour to go uh, until it gets too bright uh, to get any meteors. Yeah, I haven't vlogged that much because uh, yeah, the night began not, uh, not ideal. Uh, we found a pretty good spot with a, with a frozen lake and we had some foregrounds in mind. But uh, even before we packed our, our car, we were sent away because uh, yeah, we weren't supposed to be there, apparently, unfortunately. So yeah, we are now uh, standing somewhere else, uh, yeah, just beside the road. No ID about foregrounds yet. But uh, yeah, it is dark enough here to uh, see some uh, Geminids. I think yeah, we have spotted so much about. Um, how much have you seen, Corne? Uh, more than 30. More than 30. Some, sometimes three, three in a row, or just at the same time. Yeah, three in a row at the same place sometimes. It's really crazy. So yeah, we are pretty confident that we have some uh, Geminids in our shots. And uh, yeah, I think we, go, we will uh, go on for about an hour. And after that, we are uh, going to look for some foregrounds. And, uh, yeah, this should be a good one. <laughs> this should definitely be a good one. Whoa. <laughs> Drinking a cup of tea. Lovely mango tea. Oh, for you. Hey. Ah. With the moon rising behind you. Yeah, and a very nice gem that just just tried to arrive. Okay. I think I should stop vlogging again and just look at the sky. <laughs> Temperature alert. And Corné is now um, removing his H alpha filter. We both uh, shot an RGB stack of the sky and also with the H alpha filter in. And as you can see, the H alpha filters are pretty finicky. <laughs> there it is. Before we go on to the pictures, here are a few more live meteors for you. So uh, we haven't vlogged that much tonight, but uh, we have been busy for about, I think, five hours or something yeah something like that yes with minus uh, eight degrees celsius <laughs> but we saw so many geminids i think i saw about 20 25 uh, you maybe uh, more yeah 30 to 40 it was absolutely insane <laughs> i have yeah. never seen that much uh, meteors same for me even with the moon outside up in the air right now yeah still a lot so still so. a lot bright meteors so what a night We've uh, just come back from uh, scouting some foregrounds. We um, walked for about uh, 20 minutes onto a header field where we found a uh, frozen uh, small lake. Uh, we're not sure if we found the best foregrounds there, but hey, we, we walked on ice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we also shot some uh, yeah, other foregrounds, yeah. so we will be able to make something out of it. So uh, yeah, I think we'll sign off here. Yes, let's go drive home. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Later. But of course we won't leave you without showing the results of this evening.